The other thing that you're going to want to implement, either have your client see a pelvic floor PT or if you feel comfortable doing it, is some of that scar massage to allow a lot of that myofascial tone to reduce in order to get a little bit more movement and making sure that it, these women can breathe through their belly, expand and contract some of that tissue, and then be able to start doing some of these barbell movements. Okay, so then what do we do when people are ready to get down, get onto the bar? So the biggest thing that's gonna happen is that there's gonna be a lot of stretch with a lot of the kipping movements that CrossFitters will be doing. And so one, their body has to be ready to handle that stretching, but also now you're gonna be contracting from a landed position. So we know that from a length tension relationship perspective for all of our muscles, in an elongated position, we don't have the same amount of tensile strength. So we want to make sure that we're really preparing our women to be back on the bar without aggravating a scar or having a lot more movement coming through that scar, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So the first thing that I would get some of my women to do in that sub-acute phase is to start working on just hanging from the bar. So I have two bars here, one slightly higher than the other, and I usually get them to start on the lower bar and just hang. And I need to play around with how much you're really getting them to put weight through their hands, and eventually just getting them to use less and less foot support and just
up, so they're going to progress them from chipping to butterfly. We would for a reconditioning type of program anyway. So we're going to go kipping, pull up, butterfly. We're going to have a little bit more of that swing for the chest bar. And then the other thing to be conscientious of is the bar muscle up. So when you're on top of the bar for the bar muscle up, you're oftentimes hitting right where that C-section scar is present. And so what can happen is that the impact over the bar can be really bothersome. And so really trying to think about how much desensitization they have, how much pressure can be put over top of that scar before you're progressing women to bar muscle ups. It's not going to be the same as with a ring muscle up, because you're coming through, you're not having that impact point, um, but that's definitely something to think about. The other thing is that when you're in the muscle up category, there is a huge amount of turnover, which is going to cause a really strong contraction through that anterior wall, and we want to make sure that our mamas are ready for that. Probably one of the, the harder exercises to get back to after having a baby, especially if the method of delivery with C-section, is toast bar. And the reason for that being is that one, it's a really strong hip flexor abdominal movement to be doing that toast bar. You're going to still require that big back space, so you're going to have that stretch component. And then the hip flexor piece is what happens a lot of abdominal pressure, which is going to create some sensitivity. So same thing as with some of the progressions for the pull-up, you're going to want to be conscientious of that when you're getting them in back to post bar. And so getting that Hey, thanks for tuning in to the PT on Ice Daily Show. If you enjoyed this content, head on over to iTunes and leave us a review. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram at the Institute of Clinical Excellence. If you're interested in getting plugged into more ICE content on a weekly basis while earning CEUs from home, check out our virtual ICE online mentorship program at ptonice.com. While you're there, sign up for our Hump Day Hustling newsletter for a free email every Wednesday morning with our top five research articles and social media posts that we think are worth reading. Head over to ptonice.com and scroll to the bottom of the page to sign up.